Welcome to this video. What am I getting here? Like two 2700s in a row. Okay, maybe uh, this guy is probably playing better than the one before. <laughs> okay, so um, I have played against this guy earlier. Uh, maybe this is Paco Vallejo. <laughs> he recommended the B6 move in a video series that he produced. Maybe some hint that uh, it is Vallejo. Okay, anyway, um, we get a fairly standard looking Nimzo type of position. Do I go bishop g5 here? Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit different than with castles, I believe, because g5 is now an attractive or um, is in the position, let's say. I don't know how, how attractive it is. Anyway, let's go for that. No, it's not going g5. Interesting. Okay, so. I'm playing ninety two. Uh, maybe F three, yeah. Maybe F three would have been more interesting to go for E four. Hmm, maybe. Yeah, I wonder, can I go bishop e2 or will he take g2? Yeah, let's gamble there. I don't want to go f3 here. Bishop g2, yeah, okay, he's taking it. Probably, um, yeah, correct decision. But now I'm committed to do, to do something <laughs> against this king. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not like this is completely uh, zero compensation it's, it's always a little bit of something if you have the g file open but it's not um, a correct sacrifice probably uh, knight e4 might be a knight no it's queen g7 mate okay <laughs> always have to uh, keep in mind those ideas so i'm going to double there on, g on the g file with king uh, to h8, he has prepared rook g8. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, well, I'm not threatening anything. <laughs> what? I can try it's like rook h3 bishop g5 and then trying to sacrifice on h6. I mean there is some pressure. Bishop to a c6. What is the idea? I'm not sure. I'm going with this straightforward plan that I mentioned. E5. Okay, so probably here I need the bishop on that diagonal, but then bishop g5 will threaten bishop h6. Okay, so he's um, getting out of that pin. Hmm. My queen, uh, this is uh, an issue. My queen is not really participating that much into the attack. <clears throat> I wonder, maybe here and queen d3. My queen has to be involved, otherwise I'm not going to get anywhere here. The queen was on the long diagonal, but after e5 this is... Uh, not so much of an issue anymore. Queen to f5, this would be cool. Let's do this. Um, yeah, but... Back to c3, yeah. Trying to do something on the diagonal. Uh, okay. This is 
it's now again threatening bishop h6. Okay. Is knight f3 a move? That's a possible move now. Maybe do this, knight h4, f5 or something. Some um, clock is ticking down. Well, by now it's clear that this is a pretty cool attack, but still has to be <laughs> has to be played. It's not like it's an easy win or something. At least not for me. Yeah? Knight f5. Um, or is there a better move, Bishop? Bishop h6. Mm. Oh, that, oh, very, that's very, very, very dangerous. Um, Bishop h6, rook h6, knight g6, check. Rook takes, rook g6. There's no mate. Damn, damn close, but there's no maid. Okay, let's do this and hope for the best. F6, no, that I didn't expect. Uh, well, I can sacrifice Time now. Ah, come on. Check. That is really dangerous. How do you defend that now? Knight g6. That's a huge fork. Well, a tough game. Uh, probably a couple of mistakes by both sides. That's a huge check. But if he moves the queen, am I winning? Am I really winning? I mean, check. Where is my discovered check? On c6 probably, uh, on e5 and then on c6, something like that. Anything better? Nah, probably check. not. So now we are here. And then take on c6. Or is there a better one? Like f5 or something? Check. Ah, let's do that. Take here, and now somehow my queen should be involved. But okay, I'm, I'm keeping that piece for the moment. I mean, it's not exactly a bad position. Uh, but it's uh, equal material, right? It's not uh, like I'm up material. Check. I've got 13 seconds. Ah, uh, well, yeah, okay. He defended that very, uh, very strongly. It was certainly lost, but he defended that nicely. Okay. White resigns. Yeah, but uh, come on, this is a win, right? <laughs> I don't believe this one bit. Check. Like here, isn't that summer winning? No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> That's amazing. So here, okay, that is winning check, check. with what I did. But okay, well, let's let's take stock here for a moment. I mean, I really had no time whatsoever. Um, it's equal material, but okay, it's a, it's a very nice position. So. Knight b3, rook g6. Yeah, okay, it's, I mean, the problem is that his knights are, are terrible and they have much more space and everything. So it's a huge uh, strategic advantage. But, um, okay, what probably was a bad idea was this, uh, this b4 move. It was probably a bad idea. 
And just bishop f5, what I, what I did later is, is good. This keeps a big advantage, but b4 is not really necessary. This is better, huh? Yeah, okay. His position is um, is crumbling, um, e4 and so on. Okay, that was, a very, that was a very cool game, very interesting game. I, I really don't don't uh, think that this is objectively speaking a great sacrifice, but okay in blitz chess, I think um, the compensation is is probably um, yeah considerable. Or oh, I mean it's 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 playable in blitz certainly, and the way I the way it progressed, I really had some some nice play. Okay, this I went here. Yeah, I mean, it's tough to analyze. Yeah, there are many, many possibilities. And, uh, yeah, here a computer says equal, yeah? Funny enough. Okay, I went with this. And now knight f3. Yeah, I wanted to get the knight into the game. This is what the engine suggests. It wants to take with the g-pawn. Why not with the knight? And then knight f3 is, is very strong, okay. Wants to take with that. Gives white an advantage. Yeah. Uh, it's tough, that's very tough. I mean, as usual, I spent uh, too, too much time in that position. Yeah, here black is winning according to the computer. Yeah, the, the engine just wants to take the bishop, but okay, it's not an easy decision for a human player. This Here I always have those ideas like queen e1 and then rook h7, those kind of ideas, or rook g4, rook h4, this kind of thing, or queen over here. Yeah, I was speculating there. The com says it's not working, but it's it's not easy for a human to defend. But objectively, he should have done that. And here, yeah, this is an interesting thing. The engine gives bishop h4 a stronger, thus keeping, simply keeping the pressure. Yeah, that's not, um, that's certainly uh, quite, um, quite a good alternative. It's not so easy to suggest a move for black because he's so, yeah, somewhat awkwardly placed. Uh, the engine wants to go knight e5, which is kind of funny. Is it really necessary, or what? What happens if you play any move? I mean, I don't, I don't quite see my threat. What is my threat? Rook h g3, and black is exploding on g7. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's that's definitely true. He cannot go g5. Yes. Hmm. I'm on the diagonal with the queen. Yeah, that, was, that would have been good then, but okay, I couldn't resist to sacrifice. Take, Check. take here, and now queen e8, at, at least, oh no, now the engine gives a win with queen d2. What? Queen d2 for knight d6 or... And switching over probably. Okay, that wins. But that means that bishop h6 is winning, right? Yeah, it is winning. Huh. So, yeah, okay. It, it was pretty Check. clear that here yeah, I Check. should have uh, good opportunities, but I screwed it up here. I mean, I already was down on time quite a bit. And okay, this was a good defense. Okay, it's pretty pointless now to analyze. With 19 seconds on the clock, I will lose on time. Computer still gives me a total win with plus two, but um, yeah, I spent too much time for for getting for getting that uh, getting that uh, good position. Okay, well, thanks for watching.